Steven Seagal and Reese Witherspoon have been pumping out mega blockbuster hit movies for decades and their well-documented beef That's disgusting has been one for the ages. You ain't nothing but a trailer park bitch. Today, we finally settle once and for all the debate that's torn countless families apart. Who's the better action star? Steven Seagal versus Reese Witherspoon. In a 12 round matchup where the loser leaves town and forfeits their career. Round one, better pretend cop. Seagal not only managed the impossible and made driving an armored vehicle through a house somehow sad and pathetic, but he even tried the old steal a cop's badge and then show it off to that very same cop move. What the f is this? That's my number. Which is one of the dumbest things you'll ever see in that particular scene. But don't worry, it's not a big deal. He's just a suspect. Witherspoon tases bitches for spurious reasons, <laughs> does restroom desk pops, <laughs> and needlessly destroys people's property. That is the number one way we track runners. Turning it off works too, but is it nearly as fun? In other words, she fucking nailed it. Point Witherspoon. Round two, more intimidating. Seagull is wide known as one of the most intimidating figures in this entire matchup. That's right. From his limp-wristed silly punches to his love of a good joke. Thank you, Rosa. Do you know any good jokes? His ability to bench 45 pounds and dressing like a goodwill pimp to go along with his legendary love of cookies. I love the f*** out of cookies. So Gaul is truly something. I'm not a man. Witherspoon wears all pink and walks around with a dog in her purse. Point Witherspoon. Round three, the better runner. So Gaul runs with a unique style never before seen on a man or beast. While everyone acts like it's a big joke, sprinting is the missing step to bringing down the mean jerk time and crushing the competition at the next tech crunch disrupt. Who's gonna be laughing then? Witherspoon runs, okay, I guess. It doesn't matter. We all know it's better than this shit. Point. Witherspoon. Round four, the better walker. Seagal might not be the best runner, but walking is more his speed. He's confident that when it comes to not moving very fast, he has a lifetime of experience that should put him over the top. That's right, baby. Witherspoon doesn't have nearly the experience of moving excruciatingly slow and walks just like everyone else. This should be an easy point for Seagal. That's what I'm talking about. But I said walking, not waddling. Sucker, motherfucker! F you too. Point Witherspoon. Round five, better with the ladies. Seagal has the natural charisma of Leatherface. Now you owe me some good pussy. And is nearly as attractive. Do you know who I am? When he's not breaking into their homes and watching them bathe. What are you doing here? Doing the smoothest talking you'll ever hear. Shut the f up. Or hitting up crack whores. I want you to take me someplace where I can find some drugs and some women. He's seducing women who could have gone to school with his granddaughter and they look absolutely thrilled. Hey, you die! Witherspoon does whatever this is, which looks far more natural and believable than anything Seagal has ever done. Point Witherspoon. Round six, more masculine. Seagal has been oozing machismo and many other things for his entire career. From the way he dresses. Thank you so much. The fullness of his facial hair. Always insisting on pinky swears. And man on man hand holding. Really, really wonderful. His deep baritone voice. 
I'm Bill Hale. I'm with the uh, Global Relief Fund. And Jack to the Gills physique. Seagal is on another level. I'm not a man. Yeah, we know. Witherspoon not only has that pink dog thing, but also sometimes dresses like a bunny. Point in a landslide, Witherspoon. Round seven, survive the zombie apocalypse. Witherspoon has essential survival skills. Can blend in as either another zombie or Ellen, whose bullshit you know the zombies aren't gonna wanna fucking deal with. <coughs> and something Seagal could never dream of, walk upstairs without a body double. Seagal might not be able to match that elite level of athleticism or escape if they're the running kind of zombies or even the walking kind. And his sloppy floppy sword definitely won't work on them. And there's no way he'd get help from anyone when society collapses and his money's meaningless. But man, does he love cookies. I love the f out of cookies. Point. Witherspoon. Round eight, the better talker. Seagal isn't just a world-class cookie lover. See, that's what it's about. He's also okay at that whole talking thing. Not really. Sure, he sometimes experiences massive voice swings between sentences. Professor Lu Dizong. I look very much forward to my next dig in China. And remembering to move his lips when he talks. Thank you so much is a constant struggle, but he's also a master of efficiency who can blurt out an entire sentence using only one slurry sound. You said it was urgent. You said it was urgent. You said it was urgent. Witherspoon has the speaking ability of an average adult. Oh my God, that is so sweet of you. Point, Witherspoon. Round nine, the best bird. Seagal might not be so good with talky words. Find that titty bar. But he's an absolute legend in the rap battle community. Not only are his insults deep, sucker, motherfucker. insightful, fuck you, bitch, and land on so many levels. Why don't you fuck your mama when you pet poodles? But he also invents new shit. But it might could be an illusion. Nobody's ever heard of. I will snatch every motherfucker birthday. Witherspoon has dropped some bombs herself. You know, you're really being a butthead. Fucking savage. While that might sound weak, Seagulls only make himself look... Like... stupid. So, point, Witherspoon. Seagull gets a dunce cap for being so stupid. That's not how you spell it. Close enough, so fuck it, we're moving on. Round 10, the better father. Seagal is as good at being a father as he is at everything else. <laughs> Whenever his daughter is kidnapped, he vows to get her back if he can squeeze it in between the many trips to the local strip clubs and banging random floozies. Sometimes it's the same floozy who kidnapped the daughter in the first place. See out of the car. Sit back. And is still holding her hostage. And if he has a son, he's probably dead. And Seagal's apathetic about the whole thing. I need you to help me find who killed my son. But if it's a figurative son, then don't worry. He just tortures the f out of him. They were, they were. Witherspoon has never been a father. Two points, Witherspoon. Round 11, less insulting bullshit. Seagal does jumping spin kicks, is a nuclear physicist in special forces deep into his 60s, finds love at strip clubs, reinvents the rules of chess. Only a brilliant strategist could beat me in one move. This the most decorated soldier in the first Gulf War. Beats up tunnel tanks. The end of this movie where they're suddenly 50 feet tall. I could go on for days, but I think you get the point. That's what I'm talking about. 
not that kind of point. Witherspoon strips her clothes off in front of kids and then transforms into a flying stingray cabbage. Wearing a snuggie or some shit. Dang. Fuck off. Somehow, that's far more believable than Seagal's stupid bullshit. <laughs> Point Witherspoon. Final round, unless it's a draw when we go to a tiebreaker. Round 12, best emotional range. Witherspoon shows off her dynamic range of happy, not happy, really not happy, and kinda sorta happy. Plus, if you know anything about flying salads, you know just how powerful this scene truly is. <laughs> Seagal has emotions on another level. He can seamlessly go from angry, to disgusted, to fearful, hungry, confused, lonely, a liar, bitter, jealous, smelly, insecure, stupid, washed up, lazy, obese, and a fraud. That's the truth. Point Witherspoon. After 12 rounds, your final score, Reese Witherspoon, 13, Steven Seagal, a giant douche, making Witherspoon the winner and Seagal even more of a loser than he already was. Seagal would have to forfeit his career, but he hasn't had one in 30 years. Congratulations, Witherspoon. Not that this is anything to be proud of.